Uh, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another biology lesson. This is your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. So right here with me, we've got uh, this question which is right here. Explain the meaning of the following terms. A. Pathogens, which is carrying three marks. B. Vectors, which is also carrying three marks. So let's see how we can answer these questions. Right, so uh, we can now answer question A. So the question was, explain the meaning of the following terms. The first one was the pathogen, okay? So what is a pathogen? So pathogens are organisms that causes a disease. Or you can say pathogens are disease-causing what? Organisms. So here we will say... Pathogens are disease causing organisms. Okay, so that is what pathogens are. So pathogens are disease causing organisms. For example, for example, we are talking of a uh, for example, we are talking of a virus. We are talking of the virus. Okay. We are also talking of uh, we are also talking of what? You can say a protozoa. Okay. We are also talking of uh, fungi. Okay. We are also talking of what? Bacteria. So these are examples of what? Pathogens. So pathogens are disease-causing organisms, for example, a virus, protozoa, a fungi, and a bacteria. So this is what a pathogen is. So let us now look at question B. Alright, so we are now looking at question B. They want us to explain what a vector is, okay? So it was also carrying three months. So a vector is an organism that carries... A pathogen or a vector is an organism that carries parasa parasites okay so we are saying a vector a vector is an organism a vector is an organism that carries okay so this vector it carries pathogens so a vector is an organism that carries pathogens So the purpose of the vectors is just to carry a pathogen, okay? Then they carry, then the pathogen causes a disease. That is the difference between a vector and a pathogen, okay? So here under vectors, we've got two types of vectors, okay? So we've got two types of vectors. We have, uh, we have what we call mechanical. We have a mechanical vector. Then we also have... A biological T vector. So these are the two types of vectors: mechanical vector and biological vector. Now, what is the difference between these two types of vectors? So a mechanical vector is a vector that carries pathogens on its body surface. So this one we are saying it carries it carries pathogens. It carries pathogens on its body surface. Meaning that here in mechanical vector, the pathogens are carried outside the body. Okay? They are carried outside the body. Okay? For example, e.g., we can give of a housefly. We can give of the Housefly. So the houseflies, they carry pathogens on their body surfaces, outside the body surfaces. That is why you'll be able to see that a housefly, when it comes from the pitra trees or from contaminated water, and then it comes into your homes, it stays on food, okay? It will leave the pathogens on that food, and if you eat the food that is contaminated by the housefly, you may get the what? The pathogens, then you become infected, okay? So that is what a mechanical vector is. Now, when we talk of a biological vector, a biological vector is a vector that carries pathogens inside the body. So we are saying this one, 
carries the pathogens carries the pathogens inside inside the body okay for example we have the we have the anopheles female mosquito we have the anopheles female mosquito okay so this is an example that we can give of a biological RT vector. So the, a vector is an organism that carries pathogens, okay? We have two types of vectors. We have mechanical vector and biological vector. So mechanical vector, these are vectors that carry pathogens outside the body surface. While biological vector are vectors that carry pathogens inside the body surface. For example, the Anopheras female mosquito. The non mechanical vector here, an example is a housefly. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a blessed day.